So let's get into this tea. We about to get into tea room. Austin hurt after Catherine pops out with a new man. Let's get it. I spoke on how CJ So Cool may have a new girlfriend and that new girlfriend is Nate's ex, Michaela. Well, Michaela pretty much confirmed that she's with CJ. She posted a video titled, boyfriend rates my fashion nova outfits now although she didn't show who her boyfriend was Show, you can clearly hear showing his hand in this video was stupid cj so cool's no, voice i'm begging you please in this thumbnail i mean so first impression look wise 10 out of 10. so comments were saying things like cj so cool's voice is distinctive as f and i already know who that voice was girl we knew that was cj Come on now. It is CJ So Cool. So recently, Kiana J was asked to question how she felt about Carmen she and Boogie's up. relationship. This glowed up to you, friend. I think she looked great the way she was before all this extra shit. And I know I'm a woman saying these things about women, y'all. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. This shit just really don't be needed. It really don't. The lip fillers, the, uh, I feel like they get surgery on their face to make their face either look like, like create high cheekbones and like, or have get shots up there for the cheekbones. You get fillers for the cheekbones too. They, they doing that nowadays. Fillers for the lips, fillers for the cheekbone, getting no surgeries. Cause Oh, I got no surgery. Um, and then getting all these extra hips. This is stupid. Like, I can't. I cannot. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, first impression. This wasn't Look a glow up, man. Distinct, CJ. For Carmen. <laughs> um, okay. Right. She I'm got some money. She got some money. A lot of them we watch from went going broke to get money. Hell, y'all to watch me from going broke to having a couple dollars myself. But yeah, all these women do not need to be walking around here looking like wisdom toothpaces. Okay. Um, and these faces and these fillers and these lip fillers. I don't know who they, who they're, who, ugh. I don't know who they're imitating with these lips. Cause I feel like it comes from somewhere. I feel like imitation comes from somewhere with these women. So the lip filling situation, you would say like, they want to have black women lips, right? But the black women doing it too. So it's just like, what are we? I feel as though my lips full as hell. I got full lips over here. I, I don't need no more lips. You know what I'm saying? Drunk? How do I feel about you, Carmen? These men I don't like, like that shit. I, I just guess. don't like how all these girls is coming out. And it's like, I don't want to say I'm overprotective over Carmen. But it's like after what she been through with Corey, it's like you really want the perfect. Yeah, but nobody's perfect though. But I want like the perfect situation for her. And I'm not saying Boogie's not good for her because she's clearly very happy, and mm -hmm. I love that. I love seeing her happy and enjoying life, especially like in a new environment. But I just be side eyeing because all these girls be coming out, and I don't want her to be hurt again. Uh -huh. Like I want her heart to be fully protected. And I'm not in a relationship with them, so I don't know. I can't really speak on his behalf. Mm -hmm. But just. From a friend outside looking in, like a mother, you know? Excuse me, not gonna be fully protected dating no damn rapper. I just want her heart to be protected. That's mm -hmm. all. Okay, that was a good one. That was a good question. Whoever asked that was a really good Those question. few people felt like Kiana and Neek were hating on Boogie's relationship. Someone even stated, I feel like Kiana and Neek salty for even talking about Carmen relationship when y'all don't even have a steady relationship. Damn. And then Kiana responds with, baby, a relationship is so easy to get LMAO. Nobody's salty about shit. 
trust and believe so you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below but now let's move on to this next topic with the ace family now recently Catherine came out that she has herself a new girl look at her eyes looking at that man austin boy you through god damn i'm talking about <laughs> <laughs> she don't see nobody but him. That's that look. That's them twinkle eyes right there. Twinkle, twinkle. Okay, you through. Man, now Austin has been pretty quiet about the whole situation and everyone wants to know how does Austin zoom feel about Catherine? I think that y'all think it's easy for me to zoom in and it's not. Unless I haven't figured out a way. Hold on, let me see. Nope, nope. Popping out with a new boo. Now Austin finally responded to everyone on Snapchat. Now this was his response to Catherine guys, popping out with her new guys, man. Guys, guys, guys. <laughs> you guys are so petty. You, yes, I'm talking to you. You guys are so petty. And you want me to be petty with you guys. You want me to match your energy so bad. Why? Why do you guys want that? Why? I've been trying to mind my damn business. I'm trying to live my life, mind my damn business. I minded my business when I first discovered it. Now I'm trying to mind my damn business again. And you guys won't let me. Discovered it is crazy. Cause it sounds like she didn't tell you. When you first discovered it? <clears throat> Cause I would have said when she first told me. Oh, control button, zoom in. Control. Control. What? Where did that go? Wait. Control. Uh. Huh. Huh. All right, I'll do it another time. <laughs> Why won't you let me mind my damn business? Huh? That fucked me up. Why? <laughs> I just want to be over here just, okay, you just smiling and doing my thing. Hold on, Austin. We're going to let you lie in a second. Okay. Why can't I? Okay. Oh, okay. Here we go right here. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-uh. I don't like this. Don't like it at all. I'm going to keep it just where it's at. Being a dad and, you know, like... Guys, I know you guys always want to be entertained. And I don't like that. That's cool and all, but I don't like there's that. certain things that you just should not I don't entertain. Like that. <laughs> oh, fuck. <coughs> you got me choking. You know what? Cheers. Let's take a little toast to this amazing life that we all been blessed with. Cheers. You guys thirsty? Want some tea? Cause y'all thirsty. You guys are very thirsty for me to give you a response. What's their uh, YouTube channel name? I forgot. It's to entertain you guys. That's what you want. Hey, fam, got it. I might just get it to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, Austin. Don't be petty. Don't be petty. It's why be petty, you know? <sighs> You're so blessed, and you have such amazing Oh, well, they did a video on the year. Life's amazing, and why be petty? Why, why should anybody be petty in this world, you know? Oh, Austin. He's sick. I ain't gonna cap. I can see it all in his eyes and his pettiness. But petty is fun. It is fun. Well, it is entertaining. So be petty to do what? Or say what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yo. Oh, man. Oh, man. 
you know. Nick and Dwayne broke up. That's it. What I will say is I've been talking to you guys about my podcast with me and my brother. Been wanting to do that for a little while now. And um, I think it's the perfect time to start my podcast. Does anyone know what my first episode will be about? You know, one thing I will say. He could have kept this. One thing I will say is that you guys think that I find out the news when you guys find out the news. And that's false. The truth is, I've been known about the news for a while now. Yeah. Been known. Mm-hmm. Little do you guys know, I've actually met him. Yeah, not once, not twice. Did you guys know that? You didn't know that. Huh? <laughs> I need to stop. I, I need to stop. Somebody, somebody get the camera. Ray! Petty don't look good on some of these men. It just looks, I don't know, it's kind of terrible. But, um, nobody's worse than Chris. I was just trying to figure out somebody was worse. Nobody's worse than Chris. But this is bad. This is really bad. Take the phone away from me. Please, oh, right uh, Ray. Come on. Get this damn phone. I need to stop. Okay? I need to stop it right now. I need to stop trying to get... If you said that you met him a couple times, we, we what is all this petty and all this for? Or, or is it is it some Anna? Are y'all having some issues? What's going on? You guys, what you want? <clears throat> I need to stop. Someone just needs to take my Snapchat away from me. Uh, and I just need to go back to mind my, my damn business because. That's what I try to do. I ultimately try to do that. But you guys just keep pushing me. You keep pushing me. You know, have you ever been in a little like argument or a debate and it gets heated and someone pushes you? You know how that feels? You're like, push me? You can push me? You want to push back? You want to give at least a little, a little back? And that's... That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. And like I said, you guys aren't the only one doing that to me. As you guys have seen. You know. Is Catherine pushing you? Like, what are we talking about? guys aren't the only one insinuates that that would be her. Did I hear something wrong or am I tripping? I just need to know, are we all at, in the same space? You guys are the only one doing that. Then who, who else is it? Or it will be the guy. He got a little Chris and Corey going on. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. I know you guys see it. Oh, shit. I know you guys see it. I don't see be, what? You know, the one to read a bunch of shit. And read and, and be, be, you know, into the comments and everything. But I do have a team that, that updates me. I do have a team that lets me know what's going on. That's what I will say. And it's pretty obvious that someone keeps poking the bear. The bear's being poked a lot. And you know, when the bear gets poked, bears don't like it. And eventually, the bear's not gonna wanna get poked anymore. Austin, I'm gonna tell you right now. 
the day you come out and say something about her, and it might not even be the first day, for some reason, women give y'all ass leeway. You probably got two time to come out and say something, uh, some of her business. Boy, you through. She gonna get the exposing shit that we gonna be like, uh. You know, they start exposing shit that we didn't need to know. You know what I'm saying? Like, the men always lose. And I don't have- The only guy I seen win, and I can never remember his name. Adam. Um, Ken and uh, Clarence's friend. He won that argument with her because she was a piece of shit for real. But he gonna lose, guaranteed. I have to say who the bear is in this situation, do I? <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done. You know, like I said before, my real response. Yeah, Adam won that. We'll be on my podcast coming out real, real, real soon. I just feel like Catherine should be building her podcast right now, too. But ultimately, you know, the kids come first, as you guys know. Ether this nigga, please. Just like Kendrick Lamar was so prepared for Drake, he couldn't even keep up. And somebody, Catherine needs a team. Never be too petty, petty to where it affects me. The woman hides the worst secrets, the shit that you don't even remember. Kids. Nigga be like, you bringing up old shit. Oh, I'm bringing up old shit. Ah, ah. <laughs> no, no, no. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> no, no, no. You shouldn't have never said nothing. I wouldn't have said nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> then he got a lie because he don't remember. Ah, ah, that can't be true. Is that true? <laughs> And I think you guys know that. You guys know I keep my kids first. Oh my God. Yeah. That's one thing you guys can never take away from me. Yeah. We know you're a good dad. My kids will always come first. Got it. And, you know, I just, I just hope that, you know, that's one thing I will say is that, you know, hey, do whatever you want, right? Do whatever you want. Do whatever your soul, whatever your chakras are telling you to do. Do that. But always remember, always remember the kids first. Y'all know what that means. That gave me very much, he feel as though she putting him over the kids. Did y'all just hear that or was it me? Did y'all just hear that or was it me? Okay. Yeah. That's what I will say. So, hope you guys have a great day. Don't push anybody to their limit or else you'll get pushed back. And if you keep poking the bear, the bear will turn into a, an angry bear. If you know what I mean. The bear has emotions too. Just because it's a bear, right? And bears look, you know, strong and big and tough and, and unbothered. But the bear also has emotions. 
Yo, I need to stop. I need to stop. You know what? I need to stop it. I'm gonna stop it right here and save the rest for my podcast, okay? I at least just had to show you guys that I was still here and still breathing, okay? <laughs> you know what? It's just so funny because no matter how or what I do, you guys will always have your opinions and you'll always like share your narrative and, and give your opinion on how you want it to be. And, you know, that's a part of being on the internet. And that's why, you know, I am unbiased. You know, you guys, you guys, I find you really funny and you guys are my entertainment. Just like I'm your entertainment, you guys are my entertainment. So we have that in common. Yeah, we do. I just find it so funny that, you know, I've been minding my damn business and, you know, still showing you guys my day to days. Um, And (laughs) you guys somehow spend my day to days and I could be with my kids and you guys will say, he looks really sad with his kids. (laughs) I think that's so funny. So anything that I say, you guys will spin it on how you want it to be. And that's fine, that's fine. You know, whatever makes you guys happy. So I guess the least I can do for you guys, right? The least I can do is share my side of the story, right? There's always two sides to every story. Somebody get the violin. Jesus Christ. What side of the story are we talking about? Why is there a side to a story. All she's saying is, hey, let me show y'all my man. What are we, why are we looking at sides of the story? Why are you being poked as a bear? What is the story? What is it? We're going to go ahead and exit stage left because he's honestly stressing me out. Um, I, I, God damn it. I don't think. Uh, uh, I don't think that um, whatever is going on needs to hit the Internet. I think that after he sees that Catherine is happy. Um, people are starting to come to him and basically say that he isn't happy and that is starting to bother him because now, you know, it's almost like, uh, let's say the better man won, right? That's how men look at it anyway. And then here she is just simply trying to show her new man, which I wish she didn't, but as a grown woman, she can, if that's what she wants to do. So, you know, Men don't like that. They don't like losing, y'all. They hate losing. Real bad. And uh, I think he feels like he... (sighs) It's something we'll never know. It's something we'll never know. Uh, So, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. As y'all can see, this is probably going to be our drama for Christmas. (laughs) Unless we bring it in the new year with it. I sure wish they just get it out the way for Christmas. Ah! Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.